Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now today is something a little bit different because I've got a friend of mine here that I'm doing a, a collab video with. You see, um, this is a, a monarch butterfly in one of a group that I've been breeding recently for a film I've got coming up in the next year or so. And um, I wanted to make some videos showing you all of the things that I've been learning about these fantastic little creatures. I mean, just check this guy out he's absolutely gorgeous and you can tell he's male because at the bottom of his wings here he doesn't have a, a big round furry fluffy dot if they do it's a female if they don't it's male this is one of many many things i've learned about these awesome awesome little creatures um aside the fact that they like climbing up your bed as well so stick around it's going to be a bit of a long video sorry about that but there's so much really awesome stuff i had to shoot that um i think you'll see why hang around and enjoy it Okay, thanks for sticking around. Now I've spent the best part of the last week and a half going outside every day with a couple of cameras and constantly recycling and charging batteries, um, checking and trashing the video cards and refreshing them um, so that I could make sure I didn't miss some um, real key events in the life cycle of the monarch butterflies that I've got here. I've got this fella and a few more in the garden outside and I've got another 19 cocoons ready to go and I think about seven or eight caterpillars that are about to create cocoons. I've managed to get some awesome footage and I'm going to show that to you now. It does take a little while but stick through it it's really rewarding and you'll learn some really interesting stuff and hey you might even be keen in uh, going out and getting some of these yourself and uh, breeding them at home as well for the kids or whatever they're just absolutely lovely creatures okay the, today is the fourth day of setting up my camera here and what I'm trying to do is get a shot of this cocoon here the reason I'm shooting this one in particular is that it's gone quite dark and is getting transparent which is great because that's a good indicator that the butterfly is nearly ready to emerge from it, which is what I'm trying to shoot at the moment. So what I'll do is line the camera up here and turn it on. And I'm finding the cocoon zooming in quite tight on it so that we can get a good tight shot. Where are we? There it is. And get right in tight on that one. And the reason I'm doing that is I just want to get you guys a really good close-up of the butterfly emerging from the cocoon. Uh, when I've got this, I've got a rather good-sized caterpillar down here as well who's about to go into a cocoon. And I want to get a shot of him doing that as well. Uh, I haven't actually seen that process happen myself yet, so when I get these shots to put into this video, I think they're going to be uh, fairly spectacular. Hopefully this doesn't have to go to a fifth day, or I'll be redoing this whole video all over again for day number five. During the life of a caterpillar, they go through five different stages of molt. So from being hatched out of the egg, they start out as this little green thing about half the size of this one, quarter of the size of this one. And um, they go through five molts. The fifth molt, of course, is becoming the cocoon. This one here, I think, is on its second molt. And there's this, this big fella right here. He's on his fourth molt. And as you can see, he's quite large. He's getting close to half the size of my finger. And each time they do this, they completely shed their skin, basically. When the caterpillar's ready for their fifth molt, they'll climb up onto a leaf or something like this one here has. And... Um, there you go, and they'll curl up into that J-shape and attach themselves to the leaf. Um, after a day or two, the connection at the top will blacken up. The whole caterpillar will get quite dark, and the antennae will um, shrivel up, basically. And then he'll shed this whole skin, and something quite spectacular happens, which is where I want to start the um, videos that I've been shooting over the last few days. So here they are, hope you enjoy them, they're rather spectacular, Ryan stick them out, it's worth it.
So I hope you really enjoyed that and that you've learnt something new and interesting about these guys and hopefully even uh, a bit of a fascination and maybe you'll uh, breed some yourself. Easy enough to do and um, awesome science experiment for the kids or just a cool thing to observe and learn something about life. I've had, had an absolute ball looking after these guys. They really surprise me all the time. And... Um, yeah if you've found this interesting and enjoyable and you want to see more videos like this um just hit down here where it's got that subscribe button and of course this video and this video here go watch those now they're really interesting and um you'll learn more cool stuff from them anyway that's all i've got for tonight so him and me are gonna bugger off and i'll see you in the next one cheers say bye to everybody there you go isn't he gorgeous <laughs>